Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Rob. And here's his story. Hi, Ollie, longtime subscriber. Here's a few dollars to help you out of your storm recovery. Tell us another entertaining story from your childhood, or use this to help someone else. Best wishes, Ollie. Rob. Well, Rob, funny you mention it, <clears throat> because you know. It, when you're in the shower, you do some you do some of your uh, some of your best thinking about things, you know. And after you know after a very special episode of the narcissistic resistance yesterday, you know, and all the perversion and and things like that, somehow my mind wandered to a time when I was I would say ten. This happened. Based on the group of friends my parents were hanging around with, um, who were also involved. And I remember, I remember my mother making this huge, huge deal with her friends, like this group of friends she was hanging around with at the time, who all had kids my own age. Um, but she made this huge deal that my father <laughs> meet, needed to have the sex talk with me. <laughs> and you could see in her eyes how this just titillated her to her core. To her core. <clears throat> now, as crazy perverted as my father is with the with the porn everywhere, okay, I could see in his face, he was friggin' horrified. Horrified. Like like he wanted to run and hide, he turned sixteen shades of white. My mother marked off a day and said, This Saturday you and your father to, to me was saying this is in front of him you're gonna have a sex talk oh like she even circled like and i'm like no no and my father just sat there didn't say a, didn't say a word i could just feel his tension and all that saturday it was just like she was just giddy 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 because she was gonna go to her friends and my father was gonna and i already knew everything at this point like i didn't want to talk i didn't want anything it was just so from these people and i could tell he was nervous but i, I just didn't know what he would do i didn't know what he would do especially when she left and she just couldn't wait to tell her friends and because she got this idea because one of the friends said that the father that that and I won't, I won't tell us say which friend it was I won't said oh well you know so and so had the sex talk with uh so and so said and da 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 I'm like and in my head, knowing my, my friend as I do, <laughs> as I did, I'm like, dude, I, t <laughs> he probably told his father some stuff, right? <laughs> like, but I didn't have those kind of relationships with my parents. Like, not at all. I knew they were, per I didn't want to have any, because everything was always sexual with them. But yet this horrified my father. So my mother scurries off to wherever she's going. And I'm just like, I'm just like terrified. I'm like, the phone rings. It's my buddy. It's my, my, my local friends uh, from my side of town. They're like, you know, horns, let's go. And when, that, that, that was for where the, the fire horn tower was, the, the lot. We'd go play football. I'm like, thank God. So I'm going down the spiral stair. And I'm like, I hear, hey, what? Your mother asked, we talked. Yeah, all right. 
that was it. It's like you don't. It's like don't ask her any questions. All right, good, gone. I'm like perfect. He's pussed out completely, completely. Awesome. Come back, right? I come back for uh, dinner, and back then you didn't come home until you know the street lights came on. They didn't give a, nobody gave a shit. Nobody gave a shit. Um, that's the way we liked it. And then we only went home at that point to eat, and then we were right back. Because if this was a Saturday, we were out until, you know, if I was 10, we were probably out till 10, 11 o'clock on the block playing football somewhere um, or, or stickball or whatever we were doing. So <clears throat> later that night, you know, my mother's there like, so. You and your father talk, like giving me like, oh, yeah, and it's not. And I go, yeah, and it's none of your business, and that's it. And I walked away, and that was it. That's 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 the elephant stomp to the da -da 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 -da. Matthew. What? Did we talk? Yes. See. Fast forward. So that's all I hear hear about it later that night. Until, until I'm laying in bed and my father's there like, come on, I had to talk. And then the next thing I hear is the Polaroid camera going. Oh, shit. Oh, then, then that. If you, anybody who's ever dealt with Polaroid, you know, that's a very loud, distinctive. And the flash on that motherfucker. Oh, the flash. It would light up the block like a bolt of lightning. Like a bolt of lightning. <laughs> oh, God. Where are these pictures going to end up? Where are these going to end up? Oh, that fucking Polaroid. And I think I told this before, like when we were on vacation, we were down on vacation in uh, West Palm. And me and my brother went to, my father's like, oh, why don't you guys go to the pool at night? I'm like, yeah, all right. Like, whatever. We, we, like, I knew, he knew. All of a sudden, we're in the, we're, we're in the pool. You know, it's like 11 at night, 10 at night. We're in the pool. I think we were, I think I was like 14 at the time. Yeah, that's, I was like 14. So this is right before this was had to be, this was right before, right? It was the summer before I found out about them fucking on the, them swinging all over town and all that shit got out of the bag. But me and my brother were doing, we were like fucking around in the pool, wrestling, doing what, what, what kids do. And then all <laughs> from four floors up, there's the flash. We both look up, we see it's our balcony. <laughs> oh, God. And we're just like, you think when you how long you think before we can go back up there? And I'm like, not long. Trust me on that, not long. Because I was 14 at that point. I already knew. I already knew he was a two pump chump. So I'm like, don't worry, not 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 very long. Here's the thing that I never made a connection to about meeting his Polaroid and how it kind of carried over, how a lot of people suffered because me and his Polaroid. And I didn't make this connection until, you know, I was in the shower. Cause I remember every time I heard that Polaroid go, I'd sn like this, like it's, it's like a, it's like a Pavlovian response to it. Here's the funny part. 
here's what you, I think you're going to appreciate here, Rob. Because a lot of people went to jail because of Meats Polaroid. Let me explain. As most of you know, I was the security director for Macy's for, for many, 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 many years. And we caught many, 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 many shoplifters. Every shoplifter got photographed. What do we use to photograph the shoplifters for years and years and years and years? Polaroids. I'd hear that Polaroid, and even if it wasn't my case, that Polaroid would go off and I would come. I didn't even realize, like, Pavlovian, angry. What'd you do? Oh, well, it's, I'm like, good, you're going to fucking jail. You're, I sent everybody to jail. I, you got caught stealing in front of me. And I was dispositioning the case. You were going to jail. You were going to jail. And it was like that. And we used Polaroids, okay, in that company. Years past the point of digital technology. The only reason they stopped using Polaroid is because you physically could not get the film anymore. You couldn't get enough film uh, to, to cover, at that point, 600 locations. There was going to be no way. So finally, everything went to digital, digital cameras. And I realized, I'm like, I cared less and less about shoplifters at that point. Like, it just didn't become, it was still a major part of my job. And I hate fucking thieves, don't get me wrong. But I didn't realize, just hearing those Polaroids every time, even if it was my case, soon as I snapped that picture, you were a fucking piece of shit. You were a piece of shit as I'm waving that fucking Polaroid waiting for it to develop because I remember my father with those fucking things. He'd come out. Oh, that was the other part. He goes, he, my father, right that night, and he had this thing with Polaroid that he thought if you wave it around or hold it up to a light, it made it develop faster. So he would pop off three of these, run out to the fucking, because they had no overhead light. There was no... There was no uh, overhead fixture in their room at the time. They had no wall out. I, it was weird. Everything was lamps. Um, so he would come out to the hallway. He'd run out fucking dicking because I wasn't allowed to close my door. So there he'd be. He was fucking dick out with <laughs> fucking Polaroids at the goddamn light. <laughs> You know, thinking that they're going to develop, you know, six seconds faster so he can see what he just snapped, even though she's still fucking bending over the fucking dresser. What a tool. What a tool. So, yeah. So I figured out a lot of people went to jail because of, because of meat sick Polaroid uh, fascination and his need for perversion. So there's a good story, I think, from my childhood that connects even to my adulthood. So Rob, thank you very much for your contribution. And um, I hope you like the story. Let me know. Everyone else, tell me what you think in the comments section. And for everyone else, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype chat, phone call, have a private video made or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just sponsor the channel in general to help it grow and expand because this channel is still sponsored 100% by contributions from all of you. You know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if you're still unclear, wait for the instructional video link to pop up on the screen at the end of this video to walk you through all of that. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance.